and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I got so many sticks, so and little time. Playing Madden 20, the Jonah Tina Dynamites. <laughs> yes, the 49ers. <laughs> yes, them too. In case you couldn't decipher. <laughs> no, nah, they know my language about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, right? They better. Uh, yeah, as always, playing offense only sim in the D. TNT mm. Dynamites, the coach. All Madden. Mm. Mm. Difficulty. Yeah. So difficult. Oh, yeah, it's hard, dude. Super hard. Wow. <clears throat> Sounds. <laughs> Sounds like a crazy time. Jonas, I was thinking that uh, lately, like on uh, YouTube, yes. and uh, there's been a, a lot of viral tier lists being made where people, like, uh, they basically, like, take a bunch of things like uh, cards in a card game, um, and they, they rank them in order from top tier to bottom tier. Right. I've even seen people do it with like fruits and vegetables. I've oh, seen somebody okay. do it with like items in the grocery store. Okay. I want to do that right now, Jonas. We're gonna do a tier video. What is your top tier time of the day, Jonas? I'll go first. One o'clock in the afternoon. Pretty good tier. I'm gonna give it a B. That's the highest you got is B. Yeah. That, that was to say at one o'clock in the afternoon, Joe. This is B tier time of the day. One p.m. is generally my lunch break, so that's like yeah, that's a, that's a B. That's a good, <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Really? Usually I have like lunch around one o'clock, so yeah. So morning time, Jonas. Nine o'clock in the morning, definitely D tier time of the day. Yeah, dude. Because that's like wake up. Oh God, like seven a.m. too. Mm. Like seven to nine is oh. like oh, dude. That's like a that's. Whew. Best time of the day, Jonas. If you could pinpoint a time, it can be a thirty. I don't mind if it's a thirty. Oh, you don't mind if it's a thirty? <laughs> no, I don't mind. It's a fifteen. Forty-five. Oh, dang, Jonas, you can go twenty-eight minutes into the day or into the hour if you'd like Ooh, to. Ooh, like four twenty-eight. Is Ooh, a guy, a guy or whatever. Um, that's a pretty good time. <laughs> no, it's not for me. No, okay. No, no, I don't need that time. Uh, Best time of day. I've never I really say, thought about what my favorite time of the day is, though. This I is, think my favorite time of the day is around 8 p.m. Okay, I can see that. But that's almost like sleepy time. It's like 7. No, not for me. No, oh, okay. 7.45 is probably like... Because usually, like, I'm done with work. I'm where I'm going to be after work. Mm -hmm. And I'm into doing whatever I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, like, whether that's, like, improv class or going on a date or going to hang out with friends or whatever i'm usually done with work there and in the middle of doing what my plans are huh so like that probably about a good time of day for me okay it's usually a very that. like me time sort of day i could ah, see that sex. i could see that i could see that I, I have to agree is that around that time i would probably maybe even say like around 10 is probably a little better Ooh, 10 a good time too but usually i'm like yeah. done with like whatever yeah. i like being in the middle of my fun yeah, 10 is when you're not expected to do anything else for the remainder of the day. Yeah, pretty much. And it's too early to start thinking about what you need to do tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, dude. like the Least amount of resistance. At 10 yeah, there's a really good moment in the day. Yeah, like 7.45 is really good because yeah, I'm done. But like, that's like 10.30. Because I know usually by then. I'm not usually home by then. 10.30 is like S tier. 10.30 is like my 11. Your 10 is like my 11 p.m. Because yeah. usually, like, I'm home at, like, I get, I'm getting home by, like, 11. And I got that, like, two-hour window of, like, Jonas time to whatever. <laughs> no one else is up. I am no. I can do whatever the heck I want. I honestly, Jonas, I got to commend you for buying into this because I really was just doing it for a meme. I like and it, then, though, dude. It's good. Now we're, like, literally raking times a day. Dude, that's I actually like. I think we should do more of this. I enjoy it. Like, I like doing rank video. I, do, I would do rank videos, but we'd have to like get a list. You got to have like a definitive list if you're gonna have right. Like, like tiers. we would have to take the time ahead of time to make like a top five or whatever. And talk yeah, about yeah, 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 yeah. Top top five times of the day. Yeah, <laughs> number one, <laughs> seven thirty. <laughs> <laughs> then we like justify why we like seven thirty. <laughs> It's so awful. <laughs> it might work. It's though. all subjective too, because yeah, it's all based on our life. Like other people are like, God, I love seven AM because like da 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 and I'm like, You're trash. <laughs> and your favorite time of the day. <laughs> Jonas's favorite time of every day. 
Hey, <laughs> <A> seven forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom! Explosions. Uh, yeah, I would probably say four twenty just because of the memes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, four twenty is a great time of the I wish, day. I wish six ninety was the time. Six ninety. Six. <laughs> Can I do two sixty nine? I mean, it'd be three oh nine, but I'm saying it in a funny way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> three oh nine is my favorite part of the day because it's two sixty nine. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you get. I'm gonna let you get that off, Jonas. Go ahead. <laughs> Laugh it up, chuckles. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> you are. You're winning at life, Dude, Jonas. It's good. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's great. So yeah, we can do we can do more uh, more rank videos. Uh, how about you know what I, else I was thinking? What we could do a, a cooking stream. You dude, talking, I would absolutely. I've told you, I've talked to you about cooking videos. I think you should do it, but I think it's it it probably translate better on Twitch. Maybe I don't know if people will watch the YouTube cooking, but I mean, then then again, Rachel Ray is a million. Uh, at Epic Meal Time. Yeah, but they've kind of fallen from grace lately. Well, they yeah, but they're already rich. They have yeah, like a yeah. show and numerous channel. Like, yeah, but I mean, it just it, after you do outrageous food so many times, they're, they're just like, yeah, they're putting they're putting cereal inside of turkey now. Yeah, and then I was thinking, like, even uh, what would you think about like a board game? A board game yeah. uh, stream? Yeah, or even like uh, you bought that KeyForge game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could even play that, but I guess we would have to like understand it to some extent. Yeah, yeah. Well, then, you would have to uh, just have a top-down camera, and we can. We have a camera, and getting it in a top-down position isn't that hard. It has a tripod and everything. No, I mean I also have a tripod because you could just because you could just put it up. I have like a standing tripod that can go over a table. I mean, yeah, there, so there you go. Yeah. And then we don't necessarily have to show our face because I know Jonas doesn't want you don't want anybody to see your face. Uh, you're the one that literally said that that's what you wanted to do. So I believe that's literally what you said you wanted to do too. Uh, I don't. I did a podcast without a hat. Wow. Well, I mean, you walk around looking like urban ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't wear a hat for a whole podcast. Woo. So, Walking in the water. I know, dude. I showed a little leg, dude. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, I, would, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, especially if it was like, well, there's tons of those new style tabletop games mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that are like, they're technically board games, but they're not. And they're way more involved than like, so I wouldn't be opposed to doing that if people would watch it. I just don't know what the... Yeah, I've played a couple of those games, actually. Yeah, they're fun, man. Some of them are really, are really fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know. Maybe something to think about in the future. Yeah, dude. We we uh, like, I've always said like if we get to the point where we have enough subs to get monetized and stuff, I'm not opposed to trying all sorts of stuff. Because if our videos can start getting monetized, why not do cooking or board games or whatever? Yeah. Because if they happen to catch on and do good, then boom, we found a new thing to do. Like I would love to do like uh, physical Magic the Gathering on the channel, but obviously, oh, like playing? yeah, like just. Because it's already uh, popular enough where everybody already knows what most of the cards do, so it wouldn't take a ton of explanation. That's true, yeah. I would have to get refreshed with it, but yeah. And yeah, but uh, it's expensive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why Keyforge is great, because <laughs> it's similar but different. <laughs> and you just buy the decks, and they're not interchangeable. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you. I, you know, I told you, like, the reason I got the Keyforge thing is a guy from that I work with yeah. told me and uh, told me the guy who created Magic made it. And it's just kind of a... He uh, he went to a tournament, and he's going to go play in the World Championships of Keyforge. Like, he got... He won the tournament he entered, and now he gets to go to, like, to, like Minnesota or something and play in, like, the, the, champi the World Championship or whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> really? Yeah. Chance to win some money, I assume. I don't know. I don't know if it. I don't think it's nearly as lucrative as like winning no, a magic tournament. No, no, no. But no, but yeah, no. like he, he went to like San Antonio or something. It was like a satellite tournament, and he won. And now he gets to go to Minnesota and play in the like, huh. yeah in like May or something. It's so, it's the game is weird to me. Keyforge, for those of you that don't know, it's a it's a card game, physical card game. But apparently all the decks are the same. It's like sealed, almost like a sealed deck. Yeah, they're not the same. It's that they're randomized. They're randomized. And they come pre-made. You can't take or remove cards, period. And they cost 10 bucks. Okay. And that's it. 10 bucks, so, you get a deck, and that's your deck. The, the, now, here comes the question. We were talking about this maybe two videos ago with the uh, 49ers. Isn't that kind of just like pay to win? 
first. No. Because don't it, you just keep paying until you find, like, the god deck? Yeah, but, the, I mean, the chance, like, but there, here's the problem. With with that, yes, essentially you could spend $10,000 on decks and get the best deck possible. Okay. But there's six different, like, for lack of a better term, suits. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, the chance and, like, all the different cards, the chances of you actually pulling the god deck are so low. Like, but, it, I mean, people play lottery. Oh, absolutely. No, 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 for <laughs> sure. But, but a lot of times what he said they do, too, it, oh, this is mf -er. Um, he said they'll do, you'll go to a tournament and like how it'll work is like you buy in and you get like two decks and you can use whatever yeah. deck is better. So it does sound like there's a little bit of luck involved in it though. Oh, if, for sure. If the decks are not like evenly, uh, just like, yeah. Well, eight. cause what he said was, I think one of the ones he took was like, he's like, I happened to get a deck that was really good. Because yeah. it was a deck where you brought your own deck, so everybody's brought their best deck. But it's not like, but Madden, not Madden, Magic has essentially become pay to play, pay to win, because you get these deck themes, and people with, that are rich just go buy all the individual cards and then take that deck and win because it's the best. Yeah, deck. but just the fact that you can be like, hey, I want this card, and you can just go and get that card makes it so that anybody can do it. You just have to have the money to do it. This is like pulling a handle on a slot machine and it yeah. literally is a slot machine yeah absolutely in a way yeah absolutely it, it really because is. you can't even enter you can't even interchange the cards right so it's actually it's more random yeah well, and, I, and i think i kind of like that about it though because like <laughs> because i feel like you know matt like magic used to be, i mean when i used to play back in the day Mm -hmm. It was like, yeah, you could get some individual cards, but it wasn't. There wasn't an individual card market like there is now. Mm -hmm. Like it was, uh, yeah, like because it was. So it was like fun because like it was like. But now I don't think I don't feel it's as fun. It's like now people no. do it for like. I don't know. I still love Magic. I'm not gonna lie. I oh, love I like it. Playing. It's fun I loved. Play. I used to love like sitting there, getting all of my cards out, and just creating a deck. Yep. Spend like an hour making a deck and then like testing it against a bunch of people. And it get, and that's the thing is like Keyforge kind of lacks that agency where it's like, hey, if I need this one card that would really make my deck better, I can just go out and get it. Whereas yeah. Keyforge is like, all right, you got this deck. Is it any good? Oh, this deck sucks. Got to buy another one? You could be sitting right now. You have how many decks over there? I think two. You could be sitting on a Grandmaster deck. I could be. And you don't even know it. Right. Can you sell it if it's really good? I wonder sure if that's a could. thing. I'm sure you could. <sighs> I'm sure if you listed what was in it, you could sell the deck to somebody. Wow. Wow, Jonas. You should you should find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. I could just take the decks into the guy I work with and be like, hey, look through these decks. Are these any good? <laughs> just take a look at my deck, guy. Yeah. Hey, guy. I'll take a look at my deck. Look yeah. at it. I'm shoving my deck in your face. <laughs> yes. Look at Touch this. Touch my deck. Put <laughs> Please. it on your list. Please. <laughs> this deck is brand new. Got that new deck smell. Yeah, I got that new deck smell. <laughs> Why is the score 42 to 7, man? I'm winning. Jesus. Because I'm good. <laughs> They're already dead. I got all pumped up listening to Keyforge talk. <laughs> They're already dead. Let yeah, them die. Dead, yeah, they're bad. The <laughs> freaking Cardinals. Yeah, dude. But yeah, I don't know. I would, uh, like, it seems like it. it well, the way he kind of did it, he's like, it's kind of like magic, but it's like, for like, it's almost geared more towards like, he's like, it's perfect for people who used to play magic and now are older and don't have time or money to invest in. Because it's like, it's a game you can play. It's fun. It's similar to magic. But like, you don't have to like, invest time, like the time and money that you do to like be yeah. good at magic I, I'll admit that to stay relevant magic because it, it, it is so open and there are so many different combinations you do have to get a lot more engrossed oh yeah well and not to mention every three months they they remove one of the sets you can use in tournaments and introduce a new set so it's like a constant mm -hmm. influx of cards and I then mean, you're like oh all no. of these cards in my decks I have to take out and now I have to bring all these new cards in that supplement them because you can only use the last three sets in tournaments I'm not, I'm not trying to be MLG pro magic though my man I'm just trying to go to Friday night magic and go play with some guys oh, man well, be, well, that's sit different. in the living room that's that's my thing. I enjoy magic as a game. Oh, yeah, as me a competitive. Too. Never, I don't want to be a pro. Have you done have you ever done magic tournaments? I have not. Mm -hmm. Um 
I, I've done tournaments with friends back in the day. Yeah. But uh, I've never done like a. I would. What I would like to do with magic. I, well, if I got refreshed, so I re no, like so I don't show up and not know what anything is. Mm -hmm. Um, do one of those uh where you go and seal deck. Where like you, yeah. everybody gets a pack. Yeah, you take yeah, a card. Yeah. You pass it to the left. You take it and you build your own deck out of what everyone has. That would be fun because yeah. it. I feel like that is part luck, part skill, part like creationism. Yeah. Um. But, like, I don't even know if I would want to, like, have a deck and go play against other people. I've definitely done a Magic tournament. I played a Red Goblin deck. Oh, those are fun. It was so fast, and it worked so well in practice. Like, every single time it worked. Needless to say, my first match that I played in the tournament, I got murdered because, you know, you just get mana screwed. You don't get any mana. Yeah, or uh, or they have a deck that, that, comp that not compliments, mm -hmm. that goes right against what you're trying to do. You know, Counters. Sometimes. Counters, yeah. Comp yeah. 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 Yeah, man, but I, I do miss playing Magic. I, I played that at a comic book shop probably when I was like 16. Yeah, I used to ago. play back in the day. Yeah, it's 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 definitely a fun game to play. It's it's when, uh, when I was living in Florida, solo dolo, I was actually uh, I had gone to a comic book shop a few times to go see what their Friday night magic deal was, uh -huh. and there's just like a bunch of like kids they were like 13 14 oh, that sucks no like yeah not like <laughs> and i was just like i don't know if i could do this right you're like i can go if there was dudes there yeah. like men <laughs> not like kids if there was like dudes yeah it was just a little it was a little much man yeah dude i'm not gonna go play with children sorry it's like i walked in and i had a deck in my hand and it was like oh this is a bunch of kids and me and i left and i took my deck and went home I took my deck and went home. Yeah. I was like, F it. Yeah, dude, I feel you. Like, it's... It, the problem is, like, it. if you know how to play, it's great. But, like, learning how to play, especially nowadays, it's not all that... There's a lot to it. There's there's more. There's more creature abilities and stuff. They've, I mean, they've eliminated some. Like, nothing... I don't think anything's flanking anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean... I don't know. It's it's still widely popular. So I, oh yeah, for sure. I just remember being taught. I actually learned how to play Magic in Ashtabula. Me too. My mom wouldn't let me. Didn't want me to play it because she thought it was the devil game. Sixty-two to seventeen. She thought. Yeah. Was, she thought it was worshiping the I, devil uh, with magic cards. When we first started playing, <laughs> this is a little note. I'll end. We we did, didn't know exactly what we were doing because we were like teenagers and we were dumb and no one we didn't have someone that knew how to play teaching us we just kind of tried so we used to like put all our cards in one deck and we would draw seven cards every turn and we would like it would just be these big mass like we would just like have so much I'm not mad at that though. and then and then we started br later breaking it down into small decks with so many cards and like but it was fun oh dude. you mean just put all I thought you were all like putting your cards into one mass deck and then drawing off of that oh that'd be kind of cool I like dude. that that's idea that's a cool thing too I like that but idea. no we would like so we'd have these big giant stacks of cards but yeah. every turn we would draw seven cards oh, so we would yeah. have all these creatures and like there would be so much going on no. and then later we got to the point we're making like 40 60 card decks it's like, like very specialized and like preschool magic right yeah, pretty much <laughs> it was like i got 38 flying creatures <laughs> magic the gathering blitz yeah right that's pretty much what it was like the arcade version <laughs> of, uh, of magic all right that is all the time we have for today's episode please make sure to like and subscribe if you already done that call us and tell us our phone number is whoa, whoa zero whoa, zero whoa. Z nope whoa. all right for jonas and tnt dynamite catch you on the next one we Mm -hmm. Or, oh. mm -hmm.